Duder is a realist on China, old man Tassif, Manila, Philippines President Rodrigo Duder stands on the West Philippine Sea is more realist than defeated when it comes to China's claims over the disputed waters, according to the country's top intelligence official. What the president is doing is he's using diplomacy, said National Intelligence Coordinating Agency, NICA, Director General Alex Paul Montiagudo. These are part of our territory. These are our waters. We don't have to fight because we will not win, he said in a meeting with editors and reporters of the Inquirer on Tuesday. Montiagudo cited Vietnam and its history of conflict with China over parts of the South China Sea as an example of what could happen to the Philippines. He said that in the end, Vietnam not only lost all their claims but also some of its troops. Skirmish whatever claim they have, China got after the naval, includes China occupied their holdings on the South China Sea, the NICA chief pointed out, referring to the Johnson South Reef in the Union Bank region of the Sprat Reef. Montiagudo also referred to a skirmish that broke out in the disputed reef between Chinese and Vietnamese forces on March 14, 1988, where dozens of Vietnamese soldiers were killed by China's People's Liberation Army Navy. For us, what we have we just maintain it. We don't engage them, Chinese forces, because if we engage them, we will lose and they will occupy it, our holdings at the West Philippine Sea. Montiagudo pointed out. He said that the president was a realist in the sense that he recognized that China was the second biggest economy in the world and that it could provide investments needed to alleviate the plight of Filipinos. Defense neglected Grace, Jen, Antonio Harley Jr., Deputy Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines for Civil Military Operations, agreed with Montiagudo. He's the only president who I think is a true realist. He's very patriotic, Harley said of the president. He has been telling us that we cannot go to war with China. We need to boost our strength because our defense was neglected by the past administration. It was under them. President Benito Aquino III that China started reclamation work in the disputed Sprat Reef, Harley added, referring to Beijing's island building on seven reefs also claimed by the Philippines. We left square bracket ASP right square bracket reported that to Nalatanang at the time and they ignored it and we were told not to left square bracket rock right square bracket the boat, and then China's reclamation continued. We updated the BFA left square bracket Department of Foreign Affairs right square bracket and Malacanang was not asked, Harley said. He noted that it was in 2014 that China began expanding their holdings by building structures on the disputed territory. He lamented that it was only when the public began to question China's reclamation that the previous government started to halt but it was already too late. Not to be combated, Monte Agudo noted that the only thing missing from China's installations in the Sprat Reef is the declaration of an air defense, identification zone, or ADIS, which indicates the country's claim to airspace over an area. Foreign policy is the president's call, Monte Agudo said. He has been very clear. He doesn't want to be just combated in his statement. He has actually drawn the line as far as the South China Sea is concerned. Canada left square bracket Scarborough right square bracket show, that's the line left square bracket that cannot be crossed right square bracket, the NICA chief said. He did, not elaborate. The International Arbitral Tribunal ruled in July 2016 that there was no legal basis for China's claim of historic rights over the waters. It also said China violated Philippine sovereign rights by interfering in its fishing and petroleum exploration in its exclusive economic zone. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.